Hey, it's Christine, and here today we are going to talk about 38 different things that you can get from Dollarama for your next vacation, which can be handy, useful, and save you a lot of time and effort um, for very little extra money. So we'll start off with some basic stuff. If you're going to go travel during uh, ha ha holiday season or Halloween or something like that, you can pick up some awesome little things for the bartenders or gifts for housekeeping, um, stuff like that, just to give away when you're at the resort, which is kind of nice in lieu of uh, money because sometimes if you give them something that they can show off to other guests that looks kind of cool or funky, then they'll get tipped better. So it's a win-win all around. If you're going to go um, at Christmas or you're going to go before Christmas, consider buying a Santa hat, which you can then go and do some really nice beach photos um, and then put them on Christmas cards later on in the year. So. Um, you know, just little different seasonal ideas. Now they also have regular sun hats and I don't know about you, but I hate taking a nice hat and scrunching it in the bottom of my suitcase. So for a dollar, you're gonna get a lot of shade, protect you against the sun and keep you from getting big time sunburned. Now let's talk about functional stuff. Um, passport holder, document holder. These are pretty cool. They actually will hold, um, you can hold money in there, you can hold your tickets, um, your passport, everything that you need for filling out documentation on the plane. You can pack it up in there and then it's easy to reach. You're not digging through your purse or your wallet trying to search for different stuff. So that makes things handy. Of course, you also want to have snacks for the plane. So what better than grab a packet of Werther's or have you ever tried to buy anything like beef jerky or chips at the airport? You know it's like seven, ten dollars for a, like a single size portion. Well, here you go. A hundred calories, it was two dollars and fifty cents. Is that more than it should be? Yes, it is. This is not Costco pricing, <laughs> but uh, it's a great way to grab just a small little snack you can throw in your bag. Just remember that if you're taking any food with you on the plane and you're going to a foreign country, you must consume it on the plane or declare it and get rid of it as soon as you land in the foreign country because otherwise you're importing different food products and certainly fruit and vegetables is a huge no-no. Um, processed meats, eh, not so much. You can't bring back processed meats from Mexico to Canada. Fun fact. Um, let's see, notebooks. You know, I take notebooks everywhere I go. I like to just jot things down and I know this might seem old school in the age of OneNote and notes and all that kind of stuff that you can do on your phone. But sometimes it's just nice to sit at the end of the day or in the sun when you can't read your phone anyways because it's too bright. Um, but why not take a notebook and then just jot some thoughts about your day in the resort and you know what kind of trip you're having, that kind of thing. It's just really nice to look back on it. Especially if you just get a small one, you don't need to get a big um, honking one like this. But just a little one and then do maybe like one notebook per trip and then you can go back over the years and look back on them and, and read up on you know, what was happening in your life at that time. And it's, it's kind of nice to have those little bit of memories. If you are traveling to Europe, um, not so much the Caribbean, uh, I don't think they care too much, but Europe, having a little Canada sticker on your bag is kind of a nice differentiation because quite frankly, um, when you travel abroad, Canadian American, the accents pretty much blend together. They all sound the same and I mean, I've been living in Canada my whole life, but I have been known to drop the odd y'all every once in a while. And uh, if I'm around a bunch of Texans, then that particular drawl tends to come out. Um, not really sure what that accent was, but it was a mix of something. Anyways, um, just to differentiate yourself, um, not that it really matters, but why not? Um, now, if you're traveling during hurricane season, or quite frankly, any time it can rain, it's not like it only rains during hurricane season, poncho. This is awesome to take with you if you're traveling with electronics, like your cell phone or you know your wallet and stuff like that. And you just don't want to worry about them getting soaked. If there's a torrential downpour, buck 25 and you're covered. You just throw this into your carry-on or you're into, into your purse or what have you. And if it does start to just seriously torrential rain, then you are good to go. Um, I always like to carry extra um, ponytail holders. Uh, women, you'll understand this one. It's just like, I don't care how short your hair is, but having it up is like a 10 degree cooling situation. It's just a world of difference. And these cost nothing at the dollar store. Um, always handy to have extra like 
toothbrush just in case. I mean, you can always buy this stuff at the gift store, um, but you know, take a freshie for you when you go. Um, and then you're not sacrificing the quality of the toothbrush that you're using. Um, and also then you're not having to buy one from the hotel gift shop, which is probably gonna cost three or four or five times what you would pay at home. Um, toothpaste, again, a nice little dollar store item. Um, packaging is very small, um, so you can, you know, for a week, if you're going away for two weeks, this is probably just about perfect. If it's for you and your husband, um, uh, if you've got kids, same thing. Well, I might need two for that, I don't know. Depends how often you brush your teeth. Eating any ribs, you're gonna want this. This is like little dental floss pick things. Um, and yeah, if you're eating something, you know, we typically indulge when we go on vacation, so, uh, ribs or you know anything like that that can get caught in your teeth i just i hate that feeling where you just uh so dental floss it's a beautiful thing uh, moist wipes these are perfect for wiping down your tray on the plane i mean i'm not particularly manic about it because we need germs to survive but we don't need the bad germs right so these are quite handy especially if you're th these are individually packaged as you can see on the front so you can um, easily toss a couple in your bag and then if you're walking down the street and you decide you want to have a beer and you put a lime in the top of it, well, you can either do one of two things. You can either wipe your hand before you touch the lime, which is then going to go into your drink, or you can do that and you can use this to clean your hands so you're not walking around with sticky, lemony hands for the rest of the day, which is there's nothing wrong with it. It just feels kind of gross. So there you go, moist wipes, handy, handy. Um, if you're traveling during rainy season, um, which you may not choose to, I travel for work, so it kind of is a have to thing. Um, but nonetheless, bugs do happen. And these are just tiny little um, wristbands, stretchy wristbands, kind of like those new um, hair scrunchies that they're using. And um, it's a citronella wristband. So it's supposed to be good for about seven days. I think it's about four maybe at the best. But what the heck, it's a dollar and you just drop it on your wrist, and especially for kids where they really hate having stuff rubbed on their skin, you know, you tell them it's jewelry, and um, they're good to go. Um, if you wanna get a really good tan, you do need to make sure that your skin is clean, and that means you've gotta exfoliate. Now this was a dollar, dollar 25, so it's kind of a little scrubby brush. It's kind of got a weird rubby consistency, like it's not nice to wipe, to wipe your um, legs or something like that, but it is a good way to exfoliate. For something a little bit more gentle, you can grab one of these, um, you know, for your face and stuff like that. Just be really gentle, and especially if you take it with you on the trip, if you do get sunburned, none of this, because this is just gonna irritate the skin and you can actually um, scratch it. So this is pre, ahead of time, you wanna do this before you head down to the sun so that your skin's nice and clean and clear and can catch those rays. So you can come back and show everyone your awesome tan. And if you prefer not to, because you just don't wanna take that sun risk, um, they even have bronzer at the Dollarama. So there you go, you can get your suntan without having the dangerous rays. First aid kit, on that note, uh, always handy, because you know you don't plan to cut yourself, but it happens, right? Um, and there's some tape in there as well. So for example, if you've got um, uh, acrylic nails, that kind of thing, you can always pop a bit of tape on there if, if you get a crack. Now I will say also that most spas at the resort will quite like be happy to help you out if you have a problem with one of your nails and they'll easily fix it for you or, or um, glue it up so that you're not gonna risk you know, tearing it whilst you're on vacation. These, okay, these are not a necessity, um, but they're coconut cleansing wipes. And I just thought, you know, those mornings when you wake up and you've had a lot of fun the night before and maybe got talked into a shooter or two um, or just had too much and had a salty meal. You went for the teppanyaki show cooking the night beforehand. The cucumber in this is really going to help to just um, reduce the, um, the puffiness on the under eye. So just something different to try. Um, if you do your own nails, that's kind of a fun, you know, metallic color. Great for on the beach. Your toes are just going to stand out like crazy if you're not going to do the whole mani-pedi thing before you go. Bear in mind, I mean, unless you're going to get um, uh, um, really strong um, nail polish, 
chances are after two or three days of walking on the beach in the mornings, your, sun, your uh, nail lotion is gonna come off. So you wanna take this with you just to retouch it up while you're there. This is an easy no-brainer Kleenex. Um, not the, not the no-name stuff, because let's be honest, it sucks. Um, Kleenex, it's soft. It's a name brand we all know for a reason. And you can chuck one in your um, carry-on bag. You can keep some with you in the room, what have you. And um, it's just a, something you're gonna use, let's face it. Um, once you get to the resort, um, you're gonna have your towels for your beach lounger, but how are you gonna keep them secure if it's a windy day? You know, they're gonna last like five seconds and they're gone. I love to buy just these little um, clothing, clothespins, and they come in a pack of like six for a dollar, and you can just put them right on the back of your chair and secure your towel. So it's absolutely perfect for um, holding onto your towel. Thank you cards, you get a pack of six of them. But you know, if somebody goes out of their way to do something really nice for you, if you've got a, a butler with your room or you want to um, leave a nice note for the manager if they've done something special and given you like some champagne and chocolate covered strawberries for your anniversary or something, it's just a really nice gesture to, to leave a note and say thank you. Because who says thank you anymore? Um, uh, back to the clean stuff, antibacterial lotion always a handy thing to have around, especially if you're not doing a beach vacation, but you're doing a cruise ship vacation, you have to touch everything on a cruise ship. So every time you go in and out of a door, you're touching it. And I know there's hand sanitization um, liquid everywhere, pretty much everywhere, but let's face it, not everyone uses it. So definitely a good idea to pick some up. Um, now I like to have little bags for my gadgets so that I can keep everything separated. So that if I'm reaching under the seat, you know, when you've got like all those eight inches of spare room between you and the seat in front of you, and invariably that's when the guy in front of you or woman decides to recline their seat. <laughs> so you're like wedged underneath as you're trying to reach for your um, your headphones or you know whatever it is in your in your wallet, so or in your purse. So a little bag like this is great because you can keep everything that you need, the essentials, right at your hands and right in this little bag, and it keeps things organized. Also useful for um, putting it in your beach bag. Um, to keep things separated. Now in the room, I find that sometimes they won't have a lot of outlets, especially on a cruise ship. You're usually really limited. Um, and most hotel resorts are even going so far now as to put in USB um, charging ports, which is great. Uh, if you're like me, I use my phone for taking all of my vacation photos. So you need to keep that charged. And as much as the new phones are great at the battery, um, but they do run out eventually. So something that's handy is to just buy, like this is, it looks like it's about a thousand years old. It's got three extra ports on it or three extra um, charging centers. So you can plug this in and instantly one becomes three. So it's just handy if you've got a couple of different things that you're trying to charge at the same time. Now to go beyond that, you can even get, well, of course they sell these little doodads, which we all know and are well familiar with. And of course, one of these, which is an extender. So it's got five USB ports, or sorry, four USB ports and an on and off switch. Um, you can also go as far as to get a proper surge protector, but I, you know, this weighs nothing. And a surge protector is probably a pound, pound and a half. And not that that sounds like a lot when you got um, 23 kilograms or uh, 45 um, pounds per, per bag, but it, it does add up. So keep things light and simple as much as you can. And then you can charge everything up all at once. You can even get some really cool um, cases for your phone so you don't have to worry about dropping it. This one's kind of cute and fun with the sunglasses on the back, very beachy. If you don't go with something like this where it's got an awkward surface and you have something that's flat, you might want to invest in one of these. And I have used this type of thing religiously on my phone for years. Um, ever since I started using them. Um, basically, it's a card pocket. You stick this on the back of your phone, and just like this, you can see. And you can put all your credit cards in there, or specifically, your room key. And a couple of bucks for tipping. Like, it's just, you don't have to carry your whole wallet with you if you're staying on the resort. Leave that in the safe. Take your room key, a couple of dollars for tipping for drinks, and you're good to go. And that's all you need. So it makes it really, really easy, especially 
for women, we don't often have pockets in our clothing for beach dresses, that kind of stuff. So that sure makes things handy. Another gadget I love is these little, um, well, it's sort of a fake pen. It's actually a real pen, but um, also you can use it to write on your um, notebook or what have you. And of course, a portable charger. Um, if you're gonna use your phone extensively, um, I know for myself, when I'm traveling around to different resorts, I'm doing lots of photos and lots of videos, so as you can see from my channel, <laughs> so that you can see what the resorts are looking like. But no matter how I try, my phones are gonna run out by the end of the day. So with this, you can um, keep it charged, keep it going all day long. And you know, even if, you've, if you're traveling with your kids and they're on Netflix throughout the day, um, the battery's gonna go. So that's why they can keep it charged, keep them happy. Again, if you're traveling at Christmas, um, what I like to do is do some decorations in the room. Now I was gonna put some batteries in this, but basically what it is, it's a string light, it's LED lights, and you can just kind of put them around the room. They look quite nice. And then at the end of the trip, instead of bringing them home, I usually give them to the housekeeping staff and they've always been very appreciative of it and they take it home and give it to their kids, something like that. If you're leaving it in the room for them, I would always recommend that you write a note that says, you know, I, Christine Turner, am giving this gift of blah, blah, blah to housekeeping from my room, blah, blah, blah number um, as a thank you for great service. And that way, when they go to leave the resort, because they're, they're checked for everything that they're taking from the place, um, this way they can prove that it was a gift from you and not something that they nicked out of the room. <laughs> not that they would, I've never had, honestly, I've never had anything taken from my room, touch wood. Um, but you know, why put yourself in a, in a position and why put them in a position where they're gonna get um, questioned about it. Now, if you're gonna do a lot of photography um, or like sunrise time lapses, that kind of thing, this it's a little bit awkward to see, but it's quite handy. This part of it clips on, so you can clip it onto a table like that. And then you just kind of bend it how you want. And you can stick your phone in here and hold onto it and then it, and then you can have it set up to do your time-lapse video and you don't have to worry about it. You can go back to bed and sleep for half an hour and let it do the job for you. If you're gonna hang out at the pool and especially if you've got a swim-up room, there's a couple of things that you might find quite important. Um, personally, I just wear my earbuds to listen to music and also I just like listening to the breeze flowing through the palm trees. But if you wanna have music, you might wanna invest in one of these little jobbies which they're like a couple of bucks at Dollarama. And it's just a portable speaker. So you can close it up. It's very compact. When you're ready to turn it on, boom, turn it on and it's ready to go. And then you, especially if you've got a swim up here, maybe you want to have a little background music. Um, but as you'll see from all of the Facebook travel forums, people love them or hate them. So, you know, if you got a country lover next door to you and you like 80s music, which would be me, then we might have our differences. So again, hence the earbuds, but to each their own. Um, beer cozies, if you're going to a decent resort and they've got beer by the can, then you will want one of these because otherwise your drink is gonna get warm in like three seconds when it's 30, 35 degrees outside. So something super easy and cheap to invest in, at least until you can get down there and get a Cancun or Cabo San Lucas one yourself, um, that's a little bit more compact. This doesn't squish up too well, but honestly, it was a dollar. I don't care if it gets destroyed on the way down there or on the way back, or I could just leave it there. So, um, beer cozy, keep your drinks cool. Also, you can use this for water. I mean, we talk about alcohol a lot when we're doing these videos, but let's face it, you have to stay hydrated. I drink like three liters of water when I'm at home. And when you're down in, in the hot weather, you have to maintain that even more so because you're just constantly sweating and you're probably having a little bit more salt in your diet as well. So keep cool, water, beer, drink it up. And then last but not least, I saw these really cool things in the dollar store today. And all this might look a little bit odd, what it is is for when you're sitting in the pool and you can have your little floaty drink, you can have your drink, and this is not sponsored, but anyways, we'll go for free advertising. So uh, have this floating in the pool right beside you I mean, nothing wrong with holding onto your drink, but kind of nice to have it floating in the pool beside you. So there you have it, our different Dollarama items for your next trip. Hope you enjoyed this. 
hit um, subscribe on my video above so that you can make sure that you're a part of all the videos that we have coming up. They don't come out on a regular basis. They come out as it happens or as I travel. So do subscribe and uh, hope to see you sometime soon. Bye for now.